Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to look at different chisel sizes and what their uses are to help you decide which ones to get. Let's dive in. Let me review real quick the lineup of chisels that we have for this video. So we have a mortise chisel, bench, butt, dovetail, pairing, and then different chisel handles. On that note, let me pause for a moment. Before you start yelling, let me just explain that this is not an ad for Blue Spruce. The reason I have all of these different chisels is because I've decided after a couple different comparisons that I want Blue Spruce to be my chisels of choice, but I can't decide on what style I want and what handle size I want or which ones specifically do I want to get. So I figured let's get an assortment, test them all out, and then I can make an informed decision before fully investing. And I said, well, since I have all of these here, let's make a video. <laughs> all right, let's get back to it. All right, so the first chisel I wanna look at is the bench chisel because this is the most common type of chisel that you're gonna see. If you Google chisels, chances are you're going to see bench chisels. These are the kind that you can get at Lowe's and Home Depot. I wouldn't say that I recommend it, but you can. And this was actually one of my first chisels. Now, let me make a little side note here. On average, chisels with plastic handles are not meant for fine woodworking. Wooden handles are fine woodworking. I know that there's exceptions on both sides, but typically these are used for like contracting type work or general home use, that kind of stuff. When you start getting into more fine woodworking, that's when you're gonna to wanna to look for the wooden handle chisels. Now again, remember that there's exceptions on both sides, but that's just something to keep in mind. So anyways, Bench chisels are the general workhorses in the shop. They are the most commonly used. All of the other chisels are considered, to me, specialty chisels. And the first one I wanna look at is the butt chisel because it is the same as the bench chisel, just two inches shorter. But what I'm finding is that I'm really liking these butt chisels because I can get super close to my work. In all seriousness though, I'm learning that I'm more accurate with this chisel because I am closer. I feel like I have better control over it, all those different things. The other benefit to this is even though it's a shorter one, it can still be hit with a mallet just like these ones can. Now, the only disadvantage to the butt chisels is clearly it doesn't have the reach. If you do need a chisel that has reach, that's when you start looking at the pairing chisels, which is going to be the longest chisel. Now, on that note, these ones cannot be hit with a mallet. They are very thin and narrow, and it goes to a very fine point on the sides. You do not want to hit this because you can bend it, break it, whatever. These are only supposed to be for hand pressure. So most people like to sharpen this bevel a lot higher than they would the bench chisel or the butt chisel because it is made for those very fine pairing cuts where you need a lot of reach. If you have a through tenon or you're cleaning out grooves, those types of things. I would recommend that each shop has at least one or two of these for those random applications where you need the additional reach. Some people might want an entire set of these, but for the general hobbyist woodworker, one or two of these is just gonna suit you fine. Now, the other thing that I'm noticing is that the dovetail chisels are essentially a butt pairing chisel because they are about two and a half inches shorter than the pairing chisel, just like the butt chisel to the bench chisel. These ones are also not supposed to be hit with a mallet because they are very thin and very narrow, exactly like the pairing chisel. So in my mind, this is a butt pairing chisel, but to everybody else, it's a dovetail chisel. And the main reason for that is because it stays narrow for so long and goes to a very nice point on the sides if you can see that. The light even makes it look thicker than it is. This is a very, very fine point. Now let's look at that compared to a bench chisel. So you can see how thin this is and how thick the bench chisel is. So the dovetail chisel, as well as the pairing chisel, excel at getting into corners and cleaning them out. Again, dovetail chisel, but all corners. It's really good at getting in there close and getting underneath things and the sides of things, that kind of stuff to where the bench chisel isn't. The other thing that I'm noticing, and this just might be my mind playing tricks on me, but looking at the light on the edge of this, it looks like the bench chisel goes from narrow to a wider point up here where this one maintains its narrow point all the way through and it goes farther. You can see where it ends here compared to the bench chisel. So that's the differences between those two. 
Um, I do recommend having a bench chisel as well, or excuse me, a, a dovetail chisel as well. There are a couple different styles of dovetail chisels, but sometimes it is really nice to have a chisel get right into those corners. For the longest time, I did just use a marking knife to clean out corners, but I'm liking having this, being able to get up close and have the full control of a chisel. Now again, these ones do not get hit with a mallet, these ones do. If you are looking for a chisel that you can really wail on, that's when we get to the mortise chisel because it has a super beefy blade and it is meant to move a lot of material and drive through the wood. So because of that, they put a metal butt on here. Now the cool thing about the blue spruce ones is they come apart because they have a full rod that goes through here. So it gives it an extra weight, which makes it feel really balanced in use, but it also gives you the heft you need to really drive this through the material. So that's just a quick rundown of the different chisels and what they do. Now I want to look at the different chisel handle sizes and why there might be some benefits or disadvantages there. The mortise chisel does not have a different handle size. The dovetail chisel and the pairing chisel do. So let's look at those first. These two right here are the standard chisel sizes. This right here is the long chisel handle. Now when it comes to the dovetail handle personally for me i would not upgrade the size of this because i have small hands so this fits really well if you have larger hands you might like a bigger handle on it now when it comes to the pairing chisel i might like having that extra inch of length to have more control with such a long blade so you can be farther back and be farther out like this where when you come to the dovetail chisel i like being closer in but that's just a different option there. So if I do decide to get more pairing chisels, I most likely will be getting them with the long handle. If I get more dovetail chisels, for me, it would be the standard. But again, that's gonna be personal preference. Oh, on that note with the handles too, what I'm noticing, and um, if Blue Spruce catches wind of this, maybe they can also let me know, but the ones that have this ring right here, they're on the chisels that aren't supposed to be smacked with a mallet. So both of those have the ring, but then when you look at, whoa, when you look at the bench chisel and the butt chisel, they don't have that ring. So that might be their little style choice to say, don't hit this one, hit these ones. I don't know. All right, these are the next ones we're gonna look at. So this is the bench chisel and this is the standard handle, but they also have a long handle. Now again, for me personally, I would not get the long handle for these because I have small hands. If you were curious, they're three and an eighth length so that can help you figure out which ones you want now on that note i will say that the blue spruce chisels and one of the reasons i chose them is for their small handle because here is a narex chisel and you can look the long handle is similar to the narex and then we have a pmv 11 veritas chisel and it is also close so they call this a standard handle but i would almost say that this one is the standard handle the long version of it now, when we look at the Lee Nielsen chisel, it's closer to this one. It's actually closer to a smaller handle, but that just gives you a general idea. If you're looking at different chisels or you've tried any of these, that I help you decide whether to get the long handle or the short handle if you're looking at blue spruce. All right, the next one I want to look at here is the butt chisel. And again, as I said, I'm liking these ones more and more, and they also have a smaller handle. So this is also another inch shorter than the standard. So this is standard, this is short. I'm kind of liking the idea of a shorter handle. So it fits in my hand and I can be even closer to my work. Because if I'm reaching for a butt chisel, I want to be close to my work, and this allows me to be an inch closer to my work. The only thing that worries me about it is there's so much hand pressure in here, um, and I've heard people say that you can have nerve damage if you're constantly pushing like this with it. So I guess I would say if you're going to go with a small handle, just make sure you're pushing more here, here, and then only lightly back here or tuck your finger or something like that. But I'm thinking that I would like the smaller handles on the butt chisel so I can be closer to my work. It also might depend on the size. This one right here is five eighths. If I get like their one and a half inch chisel, I'd probably go with the standard. If I go down to like an eighth and a quarter, I'd probably go with the small. So those gives me options there as well. 
So just a brief overview. So we have the mortise chisel, which is made for driving through the material. It has a lot of heft. It is made to cut mortises and it can be smacked with a mallet. The paring chisel cannot be smacked with a mallet. It is made for very fine push cuts with just hand pressure for paring grooves, paring tenons, that kind of stuff. The shorter version of the paring chisel is known as the dovetail chisel. It also cannot be smacked with a mallet. It is made for hand pressure with very fine cuts, and both of these excel at getting into corners because they are very narrow. The most common and the general use chisel is the standard bench chisel. Then we look at the butt chisel, which is just the shorter version of that, so it can also be a general workhorse. But I'm liking it because I can be closer to my work with it and I feel like I am more accurate. Both of these two can be smacked with a mallet. Now, when it comes to the chisel handle sizes, again, a lot of this is going to be preference, but just to give you a rundown of kind of what I decided looking at these, for the pairing chisels, I would go with the long handle. Dovetail chisels, I would have their standard. Bench chisels, I would have their standard versus their long because of my hand size. Now for the butt chisel, um, this is gonna depend on the size of chisel that I get. So I would probably say like three quarters and up, I would go with the standard handle and then like an eighth, a quarter and all of those smaller ones. I might go with the smaller handle so I can be closer to my work. But again, handle size is going to be more of a preference. I just thought it'd be helpful to tell you guys what I'm thinking. So hopefully this helped answer some questions because I know it's tough to look at pictures and try to figure out which ones you want, what are the differences, what are they all about. So hopefully seeing them side by side helped you guys out there. Um, in the beginning of the video, I told you that I got all of these to try to figure out which set I wanted. In my mind, I was just going to get one set all matching and be done because I wanted them to match. And I wanted them to go from like biggest to smallest in the background and look all professional and nice. But what I'm learning after having these and practicing with them is that I'm actually going to be putting together a mismatched set. So for example, this is the half inch pairing chisel. I would like to add a wider one for when I have wider pairing needs. This is the five eighths dovetail chisel. I would like to get a narrower one for when I need to go between smaller dovetails. For the bench chisels, I have the three quarters and the quarter inch and I think I'm pretty much set on these. I don't know that I would need more sizes because I want to go with the butt chisels as my general users and get more sizes in this, but I won't need all of them because I'll have these other chisels that can fill the voids. Um, if money was no issue, to be honest with you, I would buy a complete full set of butt chisels and then have the other ones as my considered specialty chisels. When it comes to the mortise chisels, this is going to be a very tough decision for me because I already have a full set of the Veritas, I don't know if you guys can see them in camera, a full set of the Veritas PMV 11 chisels. Um, I picked them up on a second sale and now they're discontinued. They're not making them in PMV 11 anymore and I really like those chisels. But I'm also really liking that this has a metal butt to it. So that's going to be a tough decision. Um, keep an eye out for it. That's probably going to be a future comparison video. But anyways, if you guys decided what you wanted based off of this video, or if you've done this kind of comparison already, if you know what chisels you, you use more than others, whatever, let people know down below. Um, also, if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything like that, feel free to let us know down below. Check out Plain Wellness and check out my Patreon, like and subscribe, all those fun things. Um, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. <laughs>